With 80% of the state covered by forests, West Virginia is known for its unbelievable scenery. With vistas that are unsurpassed, the capital city of Charleston has the feel of a big time town with all the amenities, but has it lost its southern charm or hospitality? The state capital since 1877, Charleston is the home of the 2008 Metrics World's Strongest Man Final. And we're back at Coonskin Park for the deadlift, the fourth of seven events facing the best strength athletes in the world. Six of the ten athletes have already had their chance, and the current leader is the USA's Jason Bergman with six reps of the 750-pound vehicle. Harold Haugen of Norway is in second, but the big story is that Phil Fister could only manage two reps. His title chances were just dealt a big blow. Up next in the deadlift is Travis Wartmeyer. Travis is in sixth place overall. God, this event should really be a good one for Travis. He's got a super strong back and real explosive power. Remember the mark to beat six repetitions put up by Jason Bergen of the USA. It's really solid. He's got a little leg drive involved here. He's halfway there to tying Jason Bergen. Remember, that's 750 pounds in hand. What do you think, Kaz? Think he's got two more in him? He could. He's so well disciplined. I'm sure he put his least amount of energy in the early reps as possible so that he can make these. This would give him the lead. And he gets it. Travis Ortmeier gets just enough to go into the lead, so he is the new leader in the deadlift. He's really going to have to fight if he wants to get this one. Okay. And that will do it. Seven repetitions for your current leader, Travis Ortmeier of the USA. Todd, when the weight gets this heavy, sometimes form goes right out the window, and it becomes all about grit, which Travis has plenty of. Dave Oslin is in his third World's Strongest Man final, and the man from Minnesota isn't satisfied with just being a contender. He has his eyes on the big prize. I think a lot of normal people, they know that a truck is very heavy, and they know that the Atlas stones, you know, are not light. But I don't think you really get a feel for how heavy this stuff is. You know, even for me, I can't just walk up to this equipment and lift it whenever I want. I have to, you know, take my mind somewhere else and really get on kind of an animal level. I always learn more in defeat than victory. It just stings a little bit more, and you tend to obsess over losses more than wins, and you break down each individual event and see where you lost your points, and you devise a plan, and you go back and you fix it. Uh, I want to win this year very badly. I think I've prepared well, and I've put myself in a good position to make that a possibility. Well, Bill, Dave certainly does have a chance to win the title this year. He does, Todd. Now that Dave's increased his power, he's got everything a champion would need here. Nobody's going to outthink him. If there's a new trick or training method, we can be sure Dave's using it. Ready? Ready? So Dave Austin begins his journey. Remember, 750 pounds in hand, and the mark to beat is seven repetitions. Put it by fellow countryman, Travis Ortman. Todd, it's really tough with you six foot seven. But Dave's doing a remarkably good job here. He's up to five reps. Kaz, does he have three more in it? Uh, he doesn't have the massive leg power, but his back is good, his core is stronger. That was a pretty strong sixth one. This is for the tie. And he gets it. Todd Dave's going to have to forget about what he just did and believe that he can get down deep, low, and drive with his legs and lift this bar all the way to the lockout. He's the kind of guy that can pull this off. 750 pounds eight times proves to be too much for Dave Austin, but he is our co-leader with seven repetitions alongside Travis Ortmeier of the USA. you got to appreciate the effort of Dave Austin. He knew that every rep was critical, and one rep can mean everything when the standings are so close. Well, if Dave can remain in the lead, he could be looking at a nice payday with a top prize of $42,500. But if you ask any of the 10 guys out here, I'm sure they'd say the title of World's Strongest Man means more than the money. Marius Pujanowski is in fourth place after three events, and Kaz, it truly is go time for the champion. You're right, Todd. And we're at the right place for it to happen. Marius is rarely beaten in the deadlift. 
So Marius Pujanowski has begun his journey. 750 pounds in hand. The mark to beat, put up by two men, Travis Ortmeier and Dave Austin of the USA. Easy pulls, but he seems to be over pulling the bar and really leaning back. This will be the sixth rep if he locks it out, and he does. So one more for the tie. It seems like his low back's not working, and that's the only way he can lock out the ball. And he gets it. Your new leader, Marius Pujanowski, with just one more athlete to go. Well, he's going to make it hard on the next man. He's got to take a break and gather himself. This champion knows how to bring out his best. Well, he's going to need every rep because Derek Poundstone is next, and he is no slouch as well. And Marius gets into double digits, 10 repetitions for the champion. What a tremendous performance. If you're a personal trainer, you're not going to advise your client to get into this kind of position just to lock out a deadlift. But Marius is ready to do anything to retain his title. The final and competitor in the deadlift is the police United officer States, from Connecticut. Derek this is Derek Poundstone. Poundstone. Now, Derek comes into this event in third place in the overall standings. Todd, if anybody's going to beat Marius Pujanowski, it's this guy. When the events get heavy like this one, Derek's at his best. So our final competitor in the deadlift is American Derek Poundstone. The mark to beat put up moments ago by Marius Pujanowski at 10. Remember, Kaz, that's 750 pounds in scorching heat. I think he's doing so far. I like his form. He's actually lifting with his legs and his back at the same time. It's a beautiful deadlift. And he makes quick work of the first seven repetitions of that 750-pound weight. He needs three more to tie Marius or four to take the win. And when you go last, you get to see the way the other guys do it. He's starting to do the Marius slide. And that slide's good enough for a ninth repetition, so one more will give him the tie. He's a powerhouse. He's got it in him. Oh, Kaz, is that real safe? This is pretty dangerous. He's got that far, the 700 plus pounds. Bells right in his thighs, and he pulls it up. He's done it. Derek Poundstone has pulled even with Marius Kujanowski. One more would give him the win. But he's got nothing left, so he will take the tie with Marius Kujanowski. A tremendous performance by Derek Poundstone. Well, it seemed odd for the police officer from Connecticut to take a little break with 750 pounds resting on his legs, but you can't argue with the effectiveness. Derek's now standing by with Bill Kazmaier. Ten reps, you ran out of time. Looked like you could have done more. That ties you with Marios. Are you happy with that? No, nah, I didn't leave enough time at the end. I need about 15 seconds to complete the last lift. Great performance. Thanks, Bill. So with ten reps apiece, Derek Poundstone and Marius Puchinovsky shared the win in the deadlift. Travis Ortmeier and Dave Oslin each had seven reps and tied for third. A solid result for Jason Bergman, who finished fifth. Haugen was sixth. In seventh, it was Tarmo Mitt. And then it was Fister, then to Hollins, tied for eighth. After four events, Dave Oslin continues to lead, but the gap has been narrowed. Derek Poundstone is now just one point back in second. Marius Pujanowski is now in third. And with an eighth-place finish in the deadlift, Phil Fister has fallen back. We tend to do things on a grand scale here at the Metrics World's Strongest Man, and it doesn't get much bigger than pulling an 88,000-pound C-130. The plane pull is next when we return to Charleston, West Virginia.